Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. Calls for prosecution after authorities learn of the massive felony intel officer committed for Obama. Since President Trump made a promise to the American people that would drain that he would drain the swamp and he and bring integrity back to the White House, so far he has done everything in his power to keep that promise and it has been working out. Now the deep state has been trying to undermine Trump since he was first elected because they know what will happen if he accomplishes his goals. The deep state has been leaking sensitive information that has triggered much of the chaos that engulfs the White House. Former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper was known to be one of Obama's most trusted allies and was involved in many corrupt and dishonest practices. Now, Clapper, Clapper, who served as President Barack Obama's Director of National Intelligence from 2010 to 2017, is once again under fire after it was discovered very recently that he intentionally lied to the American people while under oath back in 2013. Clapper appeared before the Senate Intelligence Committee in March of 2013 and told Congress that the National Security Agency was not wittingly collecting uh, any type of data at all on millions of Americans. We have since learned that that was a bold-faced lie and Clapper needs to pay. The Obama administration insisted that there was not a spy network collecting information on private citizens and Clapper was a key player in the spreading of the lies to keep Obama from being discovered. Now this is just the beginning and if an investigation does conclude that he lied, it will be the beginning of the end for Obama and his deep state operatives. According to the conservative Daily Post, after verifiable proof that former U.S. Director of National Intelligence James Clapper lied under oath, top Republicans are calling for him to be ch charged criminally. In March of 2013, Clapper told the Senate Intelligence Committee that the National Security Agency had not wittingly collected any type of data at all on millions of Americans through their spy programs. Now, as we said, this was a complete lie, and Republicans want him held accountable for telling such an erroneous fabrication. Because of the Congressional state, uh, Statute of Limitations, lawmakers have until March 12th to charge Clapper for lying before Congress when he said the NSA, which works in the unison with the DNI, was not unlawfully collecting private information on millions of Americans. Texas Republican Representative Ted Poe is one of the many congressmen calling for Clapper to uh, face harsh consequences for lying under oath to the American people. Post said that the time for the Department of Justice and FBI to bring the accusations against James Clapper in front of a grand jury is long overdue. He and others who have held uh, administrative power must be held accountable to the same laws that govern the people of the United States. Kentucky Repub Republican Representative Thomas Massey agrees, adding that there's a new focus to root out government corruption from the deep, sta deep state actors and former President Barack Obama's holdovers. Yes, he should be prosecuted. He admitted to lying to the Congress and was unremorseful and uh, flippant about it. The integrity of our federal government is at stake because his behavior sets the standard for the entire intelligence community, community Massey said. Now, he added that the same goes for James Comey, who secretly leaked documents that he was not legally permitted to release. Wisconsin Republican Representative James Sensen, uh, Sensenbrenner followed suit by saying that the Obama appointee serves as a perfect example of the kind of corruption President Donald Trump wants to remove from the government. Sensenbrenner said also that complete and truthful testimony is imperative for Congress to conduct effective oversight. It is clear from the evidence that Director Clapper's own admission that he lied to the Senate Intelligence Committee, political consideration should not affect the Department of Justice from pursuing this matter. Now, it says that was true in 2013 when it happened, and it remains true today. With the numerous, uh, numerous investigations into former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and Obama's FBI and DOJ being investigated for abuse of power, the American people are finally seeing corrupt actors held accountable for their actions. Now, this is the reason Trump won the election. The American people are sick and tired of being lied to, and the more Trump uncovers, the more people are waking up. 
The Democrats are terrified of President Trump and know that he has ver has he has every intention of exposing them for the corrupt traitors that they are. Uh, for years we were lied to and manipulated by Obama and his people. If James Clapper goes down, he will, he will just be the first in the line to do so, and you can guarantee this will lead to many more arrests. The deep state is in panic mode, and it's only a matter of time before we learn the truth. Thankfully, Republicans were able to catch this information before the Congressional Statute of Limitations expires in March.